Many of the malware will modify your system in such a way that it will make it impossible to uh, get updates for your security software. What usually happens is when you open up a browser and you search up a website, it sends you to a different website. This is just an example of a browser redirection virus, also known as the Google redirection virus or worm. What happens here is the malware that's installed on your computer is um, modifying your system DNS servers and change them to different websites. And in order to repair this thing, you're going to have to manually restore back to the default DNS settings on your computer really easily by going into the system32 host file and doing the whole bunch of proxy server handling. It's very easy to do, and on an effective computer, this is not effective, but on a computer that has the browser problem that gets redirected, you need to um, actually clean up your computer, but in order to do this, we need to change the DNS server. So you would open up Start, and you need to click on the Control Panel. And you would click on Add and Remove Programs. I mean, not Add and Remove, sorry, my mistake. You would click on Network and Internet Connections, and click on Internet Options. And make sure you have this uh, changed, even though it looks like it's Google.ca. Make sure you double w dot Google. Dot .ca just in case the malware has changed your uh, default um home page. After that, you want to click on the connections tab that says connections and down here you need to click the land settings tab. Right here, if you have if if used a proxy server is checked on check it. That's probably one of the reasons you're getting redirected. If use an automatic configuration script is checked on check it and click apply, it should be exactly like mine and click OK. And then exit out of the internet properties by clicking OK again. The next thing you want to do is you want to click on the tab that says network connections. And then on local area connections, you want to right click and click properties. Right here, you want to click on the thing that says internet protocol tcp slash ip and you want to click on that and click properties make sure that you do not have used the following dns server addresses and if it's checked on check it make sure you only have orbit dns services automatically make sure your settings are completely the same as mine and then click ok after you do that we need to go into the host file of windows in system 32 so we can mod make sure that the malware hasn't modified the current host file to do this, you click on Start and click on My Computer. Click on the C Drive and then click on the Program Files, or Windows Folder, sorry. Click on Windows Folder. On here, we need to look for a folder called System32. And then we need to look for a folder called Drivers. And click on that, and then we need to look for the folder called ETC. Open up the ETC folder, and you should have a file called Hosts. Right click on that file and click Open, and click Open with and it will ask you to choose the program to open with the file. Make sure you choose Notepad. Right here, you will have this come up, and if you have anything other than localhost 127.0.01, like I do, remove it. Right here, this is my browser problem, and I would remove it. Make sure your settings are completely like this. If there's anything else other than this text in here, then remove the text, and then click Save or save as but you don't need to you just need to click save after you do that exit out of the uh, system 32 and then you should be able to access your internet again click on internet options I mean not internet options click on the internet explorer and you should be able to get to google when you get to google you need to download something called TDS Keller And then you click on this. This will remove the rootkit that installed the Google Redirection Virus or Worm on your system. Make sure you download the executable file of the tdskiller.exe from the website in the description box. Or you can just actually go to Google like I did and download it. Then you want to click Save. And you want to make sure you save it to your desktop. And after that, you need to exit out of all of it. And then you need to uh, run the file. tdskiller and click scan your computer and your boot sectors I have no infections found but if you have the google redirection virus you should have infections found 
After you scan your computer, click close, and now we need to download a program called Malwarebytes Anti-Malware to scan your computer for additional malware. You can get this by going to Google, www.google.com. And write MBAM into Google, like I did. This will open up the Malwarebytes Anti-Malware and click this. Or you can visit this website in the description box. You want to make sure you download the free version of Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. And click download now. Make sure you click save and again save it to your desktop. And then you can click the run button to run the installer. And click run again. Make sure you choose your language and make sure it's English. It, click next and click accept the license agreement. And then click next again and make sure you start the C program file as Malwarebytes anti malware directory. And click next. Make sure you check a desktop icon of it. And um, then click next. And then next again and install. This will install the Malwarebytes anti malware program onto your system's hard drive. And then you actually make sure you need to update the malware bytes. Make sure you're resumed connected to the internet. Downloading the updates will help get the latest versions of the malware that's in the computer out of your system. After you do that, make sure you open up malware bytes and the malware. And once it's open, make sure you click on Perform a Quick Scan. And after you scan your system, it should find the additional malware and remove it from your system. I just don't have the time to run the scan here. But once you've done that and you've removed the malware, you still need to get one more program to clean up the rest of the temporary internet files that could have been left behind by the worm or the redirection virus. Go up into Google again and you need to download CC Cleaner. The link's also in my description box. You can click on the file that says download, and then download it from the, uh, whatever website you want. Make sure you run this or save it to your desktop again. Click run. Click yes and run it. Make sure you choose your language. Make sure you choose English and click next and click I agree to license and do the same thing and install it. Make sure you uncheck the Yahoo toolbar. Make sure you uncheck check for um, automatic check for updates. Make sure you check everything but add a desktop icon and click install. And once you do that, you want to click run CC Cleaner. CC Cleaner will open. And then you need to click run the cleaner. Make sure you, before you do that, you want to make sure you click on every box like DNS check and ignore these warnings. Make sure you check everything on your system. Except for wipe free space, that's operationable. But it's always good to do it. And then click run cleaner. And then click don't show me this warning again and it'll delete the temporary junk off your system that was left behind by the redirection virus. Once you do this, it will start cleaning up the C drive, and then you can click cancel if you want, and then it will tell you all of its, what it's removed. It removed 224 files from the hotfix <coughs> installers. Next, you want to click on the registry settings because the malware could have modified your Windows registry editor. So you would click scan for selected issues, and after you do that, you click fix selected issues and click back up your registry, name it the date, and save it to there and then click fix all selected issues this will fix all the selected issues and then you can exit CC cleaner now one last thing we need to do is we need to flush the DNS service as if you have a router because a router can still be infected so what you do is you would open up run and you would write CMD into run and in then you want to write this IP config slash DNS flash exactly how I write it and it should say successfully flush the DNS Resolve over a catch and then you're done. Thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe.